Hello and welcome back to Fran Bo. It was interesting to finally see um, Fran's room, but let's see what awaits us behind this door. Okay. Some other doors. Well, there's a key. Ha! Huh. A key to unlock things that are locked. So we have two keys. A little golden key. What will you unlock? Well, I hope one of these doors. What a big eye! What are you looking at? Are you looking at my beautiful face? Do I know you? You seem familiar. Yeah, it looks like one of friends' eyes. So are we looking at ourselves from another reality or just in a dollhouse? Hmm. Interesting design, really. So we came out of room 101. Hello, is anybody living here? Hmm, the door is locked. I guess I have to unlock it to go inside. Okay, will one of the keys fit there? This is not the right key, it's too big. Okay, then maybe this? Nope. Okay. Can't unlock the door, this is the wrong key. This door is also quite bloody and the number... Because we have 102, 104, 105. And this way it looks like 103, but it's upside down. I mean, I don't think the numbers really mean anything. So, let's just go around, check all the doors. Ah, huh. this one worked. Another eye. Many eyes. Intruder, infiltrator, why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am Ocula, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty. Oh, I'm sorry. What a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. Everything? Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you royal, queen, princess? No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends, how lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bearer of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there, inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose. Its fur is very dark, black as the deepest night. It's him! It's my friend, Mr. Midnight! I have to go and find him. But Mabuka is asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are brave and I, res I respect bravery very much. Thank you, Ocula. I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you around. Okay, that was nicer than expected. Ah, a hairbrush to brush hair. Okay. Oh, this mirror is transparent. It's more like a window. A window? The eyes are looking around. I wonder what they see if they don't have a brain. Maybe ocular, but she can't be the brain because she's an eye. Some stairs. 
Alright. <laughs> Hello, happy monkey. Is your name Darwin? Nice to meet you. I'm Fran. You play the drums very well. Mm, not right now, he isn't. Paper swirls, just like in a thirster. This reminds me of Sunday in the park. It seems it won't budge. Maybe I have to give a coin or something. Well, it says insert button. Then I should insert a button. A button? Maybe they meant a coin? No, it must be a button. It does say button, so I guess we need a button to get the key to room 103. We have a button on one of our dresses, I believe, so maybe we can go cut that off, but let's look here first. This bottle is perfect. I'll take it. I found this lonely bottle on top of a table. A table floating in nowhere. <laughs> Alright. I may need this wire in the near future. I took this wire from the monkey machine. Uh, but do we not still need it here also? Electrical outlet. Nothing is plugged in. Okay. I think we we'll still need it, but no. Can we can we put it back? Okay. I think we need to pick that up later. Can't do anything here yet, so we still first have to come here. <laughs> All right. Not the most comfortable place to have a path, I guess. Golden snail. Is somebody in there? Maybe the snail is asleep. Shh. That didn't do anything, or did it do something somewhere else? <laughs> well, we still have one key, so does it work here? Yeah. Down to 105. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors that I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get that key without his permission. Reinforced teeth? I see. I'll see what I can do to take the key then. And who are you, if I may ask? Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's, Mabuka's Den. Mabuka? Who is Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is. You don't? Leave now. Just leave. But, Roberto, sir, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead, so I know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of the darkness. The darkest darkness, the obscurity, the end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? Am I at the fifth reality? I thought Remor was the king here. Ah, Remor, the terrible black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I have said enough. All right, I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. All right. I mean, I think we actually saw something about Mabuka in the book, in Leon's book. And remember that the other friend said she met Leon, so... Oh, mysterious paintings in a mysterious place. That is indeed very mysterious. The eyes are crying tears of blood, 
That's sad. Hello, Mr. Skull. You have a little flesh left on you. My kitty would lick and chew that out of you. Would you like to be eaten by my kitty? I don't know if you would. Would he even care? Key inside the little house. Well, we got that one. Oh, a little message in the pocket. The little house? Oh, I see. Yeah, we already got that, so... But thanks for the hint. Telephone. Nope. We need a clue for that. Edward forgot his hat. Or maybe the hat forgot its head. Or maybe the hat can't exist without the head, and vice versa. That means nothing is real. Wow. Sure, sure. Hello. I'm not done, mother. I'll take another bath after this one, because I stink. Who told you that you stink? The creeps that walk on my skin. They are getting sick. They vomit every time they eat from my skin, because I stink. I don't smell anything. What is the smell we're talking about? I stink like the most unpleasant stench. I believe you, but I can't smell it. Sorry, I have to go now. Bye. That wasn't very helpful. Can we borrow the soap? Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It can stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. I don't like thinking about my heart's beat. I just want the soap. Soap? Are you having trouble with hygiene? Yes, terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh was all rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you. Just let me have the soap for a little while. Alright then, take it. It's all yours. Thank you. But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and keep the heads. Their beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. Well, that wasn't creepy at all. Thing with the rose. I turn on the water. I turn off the water. Uh, well, can we use the bottle? I fill the bottle with water. La la la. Okay, turn that off. Oh, a painting of a whale. Very nice. Real whales are nice too. Very amazing creatures. We sure are. Okay, so now we have water, soap. Do we need soap for this? Bottle with water, soap bar. Okay. I think I must wake up Mabuka. Looks like it. But let's first go back because now we have water and see if we can get rid of the Kamala that was outside eating the tree. Be done. Okay, so we need something else. Hmm. Well, who's worth a shot? Maybe we need, I don't know, watering can, a hose, something. 
So we have two open doors, the rest is still locked, no more keys. Can we... Hmm, the soap smells good. Can we combine it? No. Because right here it looks like the soap is in the bottle. We also still need a glove, black wire. Well, I think we need to get that um, from the monkey machine. A bulb and a wake-up clock. Uh, we still need a button for the machine, so... I think we can cut it off from the dress. There, we have a dress with a button and we still have one knife, so... Yep. A big pink button from my summer dress. Great. Anything else? We don't have gloves here, right? So Let's see if we can get that machine to work now. And we should get another key. So, yeah. <laughs> this thing here. A little unsettling. Okay, let's use the button. And there goes my button. Now what? Now he's playing. <laughs> That's not the key. At least I hope this can help me somehow. I got these pliers from the monkey machine. Now we can take this. Okay, we have flyers. Um, can we use them for something? Hmm. Oh wait, can we combine the water with the balloons? Ah, the powerful water balloons. Okay, that's what we needed for the Kamala then. And way back. The eye actually follows us, okay? Creepy. Okay, now get a dose of this. Oh goodness, I missed. Ran, concentrate. Ah, almost. One last shot. Yes, I did it. Goodbye, Kamala. Wow, I don't feel the sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry, I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. There, a piece of me. You can plant it if you like. He, <laughs> thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cat. I hope you find it. See you around. Nice to see you again. Did you find your cat already? Not yet, but I'm not giving up. See you. Okay. So we got a branch. A present I got from the tree I helped. How does that help us, though? Hmm. I don't think we can, like, combine everything yet. Can we? Still need three things. Got a brush. I think this is only really for the key. Or do we... No. I don't 
think we can use anything else here. No. So, two more doors. Hmm. The machine that said it would have the key to this gave us the pliers, but... No, that doesn't work. Oh well. Can we get the... The key from the skull with it? Oh dear. I'm sorry. How could you? I hope somebody takes off your teeth as well. Well, the tooth fairy already took out all of my baby teeth. Insane, isn't it? Um... Get out! I don't want to speak with a tooth criminal. I'm sorry. That was extreme. But we need the key. Shiny little key. Come here. I wonder what door you'll unlock. Does this work with the 103 then? Nope. There we go. Well, there's a cat. A wake up clock. Perfect. Hmm, it's tightly tied. If I want it, I'll have to do something about it. back of the giant cat. This must be for something important. It's quite dark in there. You're not, you're not saying anything about the cat itself? Ah. Wow, what a big cat. You look exactly like Mr. Midnight. I have to find him. And for that, I have to open all the doors. So can we just... Uh, silver knife, can we just cut it off? Yeah. I got your little wake-up clock. The wake-up clock ready to wake you up. Can we combine this now? I guess we still have to, like, we have to find everything that we need. So still the bulb and the glove, and the glove is up here, so... That startled me. Okay. Excuse me, tree. I want the glove. Thank you. A single glove. Maybe it would took the other one. Wait. Hello, tree. You're big. What are those red things coming from inside you? I guess it won't tell. And for a moment I thought it might be the fireberries again, but they look different. Excuse me, I really need the key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I do not talk to strangers. You don't need to talk, just let me take the key. If I choose not talking to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. How disappointing. I have a question. Are you stuck to this tree? I am firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. That must be the key for door 103. I can smell it. But I can't reach it from here. Even if I could reach it, the lucifern would burn me. Well, can we use the brush with it? Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I don't know. A hair comb? What is that? Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? 
It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try it. Alright, but just promise you won't burn me, okay? I'd only burn if I'm in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. It worked! What is happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You are a Lucifer. All Lucifans I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Well, goodbye then. Okay, we still can't reach it. My grab o -matic would be nice here, but I don't have it anymore. Uh, we have the branch. Fantastic! I can reach it. Now I have the key. Great. It's a cute key. This key must open door 103 for sure. It's the only door left, so let's hope. worked and it looks quite uh, flashy in there. Oh dear. Creature from above, get out from Abuka's den. You're not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat and I need to wake up Mabu Mabuka. Just Mabuka. Mother Mabuka for you, arrogant little infant. And how did you plan to wake her up, eh? With the crazy ideas of Cogwind? Cogwind is a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. Ah, so you know him. I assume you have been into a Thurster. Horrid place, I may say. Too dazzling. Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you. Your fragile little mind will be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. Oh, hello little boar. Are you having a lovely time? Are you a friend of Mabuka? Huh, you don't scare me a bit. Hello, goat. You look a bit like Remo. Are you cousin to Remo, maybe? You are much prettier, though. These look like human skulls. I wonder if they all died trying to enter Mabuka's heart. I have to be alert. You never know what can happen. Yeah. The floor is beating like a heart. Is this Mabuka's heart? Hmm, it feels fragile and strong at the same time. Wow, what a big beautiful face. Are you Mabuka? If yes, I must wake you up. Hogwind came up with a machine to wake you up. So be prepared. Okay. So... Hmm. We still miss a light bulb, yeah? Okay, a working light bulb. So... Hmm. I hope you find your cat friend soon. I still see him inside that cage. Okay. Transparent mirror. What do we have? We have all the stuff we need for the clock. 
except for the light bulb. Crayon knife. Hmm. Still missing something. Did we even see a light bulb? Don't think we did. Strange. And I'm not sure if this is already active. Oh! I didn't even notice. There we go. Great! I got the light bulb now. Didn't even notice this is what it did. I thought it was another like elevator type thing. Okay, so I think we have to put everything into the cat here. Um, yeah. Okay. Just put all the ingredients. everything in. Ah! We have to click on the right spot. And the glove. And the little piano. This is amazing! The eco clock, it's finished! Fantastic! I'll wake up Mabuka with this. Hmm, I wonder how it works. The mechanics seem a bit unusual. For sure. Well, did we need to do anything in specific? <laughs> well, it also says here, let's build the eco clock on the back of the dying cat. Strong are the bubbles and to write the light. Okay, nothing like to say or something. So, let's see if it works. Be aware of Mabuka. The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I'm Fran Bo, human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave, so you know. A human in Mabuka's den. That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Remo. I think he is your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of radish potion or beans? Beans? My pills look like red beans. So yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? The power inside you. Don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of essential existence was created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? 
The keeper of the key? Who told you this? The great Valokas from P Prime Eve told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be hunted by the Son of Darkness after feeding from the Red Seed. But you are too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Rima killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how it feels? I am all of those feelings, friend Bo. I am all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. But then you don't care if Remo killed my parents. I thought you were nice. I am curious about knowing the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand. It's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. That kind of went better than expected. But also very mysterious still. Can you please wake up again, Mabuka? Oh, I have so many questions. What does it mean to be the Key Keeper? Would be interesting to know here. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you? You little thief. Where is my knitting needle, eh? Did you stab all your little friends with it? What? Knitting needle? Are you the dead nurse I saw back in the Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you, eh? You little beast. Take a number, would you? And wait for your turn in the waiting room. But, Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. <laughs> okay, it's just getting stranger and stranger. And yeah, we did get the knitting needle, the one I first overlooked. Oh, that creature's body is made out of baby faces. The bath boy said something about this. I think it's the hijacker. They listen, they see, and they touch. In a way, I feel I'm back in the Oswald Asylum. But it can't be. Or can it? Oh, who knows? It seems like everything is possible here. It's locked, but it doesn't have a keyhole. Maybe somebody must open it from the inside. Maybe the nurse can open it. Well, let's just... Yeah, go draw a number. Let's take a number. I hope I get a good one. Huh, I wonder how long I must wait with this ticket. <laughs> oh, we can go left now. Ah, I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours? Maybe days? Huh, I have been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? Hmm, I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I have been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Um, excuse me everyone. But is there a way to make things faster? 
Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why won't you become a doctor yourself then? I can't, because I feel very sick. I can't, my R-Eye is blinded. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor, I must be a patient. Neither can I, I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please, let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Oh boy, this is going to take a while, eh? Hmm, but how can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Oh, enough! It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand it all. Hmm, that's true. But it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps to... to better understand each other. We do understand each other very well, with our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Hmm. But who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No. Mabuka knows everything. It is not the same as seeing everything. Now, I want to wait, because talking won't make the wait go faster. Ah, huh, alright. Thank you for nothing. I disagree. Talking makes the wait feel faster, at least. This must be the number display. Ah, oh, I have number 7. It will take ages to get there. I must get a better number, like number 2. Well, he had number two, I guess. I think. But the one who sees it all was obviously ocular, the eye. So... Can we go back and ask her? Feels strange just walking around with Mabuka here, but... Hmm. She's not the one we want to... Feed, it seems. I hope you find your cat friend soon. I still see him inside that cage. Okay, but uh, can we ask her? No. Um. So, how do we? Or can we maybe just? <laughs> we can't just write a different number there. Hmm. Did we have anything left to do here? I don't think so. I don't think any of our items would help us. I don't want to touch it again. Sure. That doesn't really do anything. Um... Don't be sad, it's not too late. I can see everything, remember? Yeah, that's why I'm trying to talk to you. Ah, okay, so she can't really help us. Um, we still had the telephone in that one area. Not here though, this is a cat. I don't think this will help us any further. So 
so I think the telephone is something we have to use still. You took my soap. Why did you take my soap? Do you have hygiene problems? Yeah, we said we did. And now we can't give it back. Sorry. Hope you'll be fine. <laughs> wasn't necessary. We still uh, we have to figure it out from somewhere here. Hey kid, this is my turn now to talk here with the nurse, all right? If you don't wait and leave us alone, I'll tear you apart and eat you. Ew, you eat children? Did you know that we children are actually immature? Hey, hey, leave the patient alone now. The doctor will determine the severity of the illness. Don't you worry. Hmm. Just take a number. Sure. Okay, well, it sounded like she didn't want to talk to any of them, but I uh, guess we have to. Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Yeah, that's why I want to trade. My R eye is broken. The big eye told me that because she sees it all. I think my horn won't grow again. It's going to be very angry because of that very soon. Waiting was fun at the beginning, now it's just boring. Wait. So, like, you won't let me trade, right? Uh, I... Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illnesses I have. What if I found out what illnesses you have? Would you then give me a ticket? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. Uh, I hope this isn't what triggered Ocular helping us. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. Not really, no, I'm not interested. That is not too convenient for me. I'm sorry, but no. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I would like to help you, but it's my turn to help myself, so no. Okay, so the only one who wants to trade is the one with number two. Um, so, can Ocula help us now? It's a bit weird if we have to trigger that first. Because from the discussion before we could figure out it was her that sees it all, right? Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Can you tell me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room, waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I see him. But from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry. Until you fill this bottle, we'll do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm in a very problematic point in my life. 
I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. But now, everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Babuka said that I was selected for something. But she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to Ithursa and be happy. Hmm, lovely pain. So profound. The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now. Time does not wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Okay. A bottle of our tears, of our pain. I've cried enough. Bottle filled with sadness. That's not depressing at all. This, you'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me? <laughs> How lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. All right, all right. There you go. And thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. Thank you. Oh. This must be the number display. Yeah, well... can enter now. Shoo, it's not your turn yet. But it is. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry, we don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just want to find him. A lost kitty? Don't worry, that's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky though. Many lose their mind instead. Huh, lucky. But how do I get an appointment then? Uh, just call me. Here's my card with a telephone number. But why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly. Because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Ah, all right. I'll go and make the call then. Uh, yeah, that's what we need to do. I just had a flashback of when I was in a um, uh, the doctor's office and I also wanted to make an appointment right there. Because I'm not good with making phone calls as... Oh, sorry as uh, many other people also are. So that bothered me, that she also didn't want to make an appointment right then and there. But oh well, they were busy, I guess. Are you insane? Call us. Uh, I'm certainly not insane, just confused. Oh, thank God she's holding it up here. Hello. Yes, you told me to call to make an appointment. Mm, it's Franbo. Uh-huh. I'm available now. No, no. Uh, no. 
Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great. Great. Thank you. Bye. Yes. Bye. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> ah. Bureaucracy. I always have to think for a second which, uh, which door we need to use. So... Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Fran Bo is my name and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. All right, thank you. Okay, so I think that's enough for today and we will have our appointment next time. Until then, bye-bye.